So what if we have to break down this force vector into its x and y components? And we're not given an angle here. We're instead given this reference triangle. So we don't know what this angle theta is. What we can do though is we can recognize that this angle theta is the exact same as this. So the cosine and sine of this angle, which is what we want to find, is actually going to be the same thing as the cosine and sine of this angle, except this right triangle we already know of the sides. So therefore, doing the cosine of theta, I'm going to look at this angle because it's the same exact angle as that angle. So with that being said, the cosine of theta is going to equal the adjacent over hypotenuse, so 5 over 13, and the sine of this angle is going to equal the opposite over the hypotenuse, 12 over 13. And therefore we can break down our force vector into x and y components without even explicitly knowing what our angle theta is. The thing that matters is we know the cosine of that angle and the sine of that angle. And again, since both of these angles are the same, we can figure out the cosine and sine of that angle theta using this mini reference triangle.